Hello, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 15 with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, well, I haven't really been playing too long. Um, I've got quite a lot of money though, I've got 200,000 pounds, but basically what I've been doing is just chopping down some trees. I mean, I haven't cut down that many, maybe five or six. Um, but these ones, which are the oak, so they look like these. These things sell for a fortune, absolute fortune. So I recommend cutting them down, but they're a little bit of a uh, bit of a mission to push them down there. So what I want to do this episode, uh, it's going to be quite a quick one, because uh, unfortunately I'm going out this evening, or fortunately I should say. So I think what we're going to do, I want to go and pick up the fertilizer spreader we bought last episode, and, and go and fertilize uh, the fields. Uh, and also I want to buy the uh, cheap log uh, wagon God that screen tear is terrible isn't it um, so we can cut down some trees and load the wagon up fill it up and bring it in one go and rather than pushing the trees back with a tractor or tying them with a chain if you like you know so that's the plan so we're just going to head down to the farm shop very quickly. Yeah, but so far, um, I'm really enjoying it actually. Uh, I like the detail, I like the way things get dirty and like I said before with the grain trailer, I like the way that it fills up depending on where you load it. It's like the circus in town, which is good. There must be a uh, a Maui mission there somewhere. <laughs> and also, I'd like to uh, see if we can buy a field or two, just so we can. I don't want to focus entirely on forestry. You know, I'd imagine it's going to be very popular on people's videos, and you know, it's certainly something I'm very keen to to try out because, uh, like I said, I've probably cut down five or six, maybe seven trees and. You know, made two hundred thousand pounds. That's that's not bad going, and it was quite quick as well. So because of that, I can imagine it's going to be uh, very populated, and maybe uh, you know, maybe the developers will think it's a bit easy to make money like that. I don't know. Maybe it was intentional. So where are we heading? Okay, I've just got a front mate. No, I think there's a spare one at the farm, which is good. <coughs> I have used a pressure washer. I um, I just cleaned the combine very quickly, and that seems to work. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, but these things are yeah, filthy, aren't they? <laughs> they seem to get dirty really quickly as well. That's good, I like it. And also, um, I don't know if anyone's really had much to do, but the, uh, I don't know if you can see down the bottom right, you've got the uh, speed, and you've got the fuel, and then how much you carry, and then just below that you've got um, uh, what attachment, so it's front or rear, and then to the right of that you've got your cruise control, and if you push one or two, you can actually adjust the cruise control speed, and then pushing three engages it when it turns green. See that? That's quite interesting. Quite a cool little feature. Right, let's just go and grab this front weight. So I found a home for the combine, so that's good that can park there. Hopefully, yeah, I think I've approached that from the right angle. And also, it looks like you can use hired help on these, so that's. Uh, Really good. Oh, another thing I've done as well. Uh, put the cultivator tractor on that back because I wanted to show you uh, pressure washer in action and just how dirty it is. And it's, they've got the textures really good actually because the, the dust does settle like that. It's, uh, it's, it's really, really good actually. I'm really impressed. 
I've got the plough working up there, only because uh, at the time I hadn't got the cultivator back. That's fine. So I think the way the hive work, worker works is he turns right after the first run. So you need to start at the left of the field with your intentions to go right. Okay, so let's see how this works. So we get here somewhere and push H and get out. I think otherwise you'll get to the end of the field. If you start this side he'll go right instead of left. Obviously you want him to go right not left because we started on the left. Oh, he stops. Drives over. And then he starts, and off he goes. Cool. So that's really nice. It's nice not to have to do that. Yeah, so, um, uh, forestry equipment. Okay, uh, I wouldn't mind the stump chopper. But don't really need it at the moment because we're not planting any. Definitely, yeah, I want this uh, transport because it's got the arm and I can work on areas other than around the, the sawmill, so I think that. I don't really want to get to these just yet, and I'm not worried about the uh, shredder. And I don't forget on the shredder you need a minimum of 250 horsepower to run that. So I know a lot of people are having issues on that, but I wonder if they haven't got a powerful enough tra uh, tractor. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, log transporter so let's try and find the tractor okay let's leave that there and head up to the farm shop which is right behind me I might just buy a front weight as well just for this see how clean this one is not that I've cleaned it I just haven't used it much all these trees we can cut down. Uh, I'm guessing the different types of trees have different values. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I'd imagine that to be the case. Like the thick oak, you know, a big heavy bit of wood, probably worth more than a, than a skinny fir. I'm not really sure. Oh. In the right place, aren't we? Is it just over in this corner? I see. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, this is the area where you. Okay. Right. So let's just read this question mark. Vehicle shop, yeah, one uh, stop destination for uh, everything. So let's just very quickly buy weight. Probably going to get a thousand. Well, I think that'll probably be okay. Because it's only a little tractor. Don't need to go too mad. So, so how does this work then? Um, do I have to get on that? Just to get it. Oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, I didn't realise you could do that. So, how do we? Um, oh. How do I make the grab grain go? Oh, oh, there you go. Look, so we got, we can go in and out, up, down. I think I might need to rebind some keys somewhere because I haven't got a way to close it, and I do like using the 
joypad. I guess it's got a fair of reach across there. So I thought I could probably buy in some keys. Well, I'm, I'm just going to go and do that quickly. Uh, <laughs> get this working. So how do I get this in? There we go. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video and I'm just going to bind the keys to see if I can uh, do something to get that grab. I'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. Well, I think I finally figured it out. Uh, before we mess about with that, I just want to finish doing what I was up to here. Just going to take the plow away and put the uh, seed on it. This is the other field to fertilise now, so that's good. Okay, let's just leave this here for a second. Uh, I think I might have enough money to buy maybe the bigger field, field 13. Be nice. Let's hook on it the right way. him on his way. There we go, and that should make a nice seat bed. Look at that, excellent. Okay, so what I was just going to show you actually as well, which is how well the pressure washer works. So basically, just squirt things with water and they uh, get clean. You can actually see it. If you get close enough, you can see it just fading away. It does, you don't have to, you just leave it on the wheel and the whole lot gets clean. Uh, but I did have a little while trying to work out how to get the front weight cleaned. But I'll show you that trick in a second. So how clean that is. See, I spent ages sort of squirting it. And uh, nothing really seemed to happen, but I found if you go straight on the front, you can actually see it getting clean. You have to do the front weights on the front. As far as I can tell, anyway. There we go. That's that's near enough on there, and then give the old cultivator a good old blast. There we go. Nice and clean. It's like brand new now. Cool. Okay. Right, so let's just go and have a look at this blooming uh, thing we've got over here. Right, let's cut down a couple of trees, shall we? So, get the old chainsaw out. Let's cut this one down, shall we? As soon as we're here. Starting to get the hang of it now. Oh, saying that. It's not going to fall over. Let's make it a bit, a bit steeper. Some trees go easy, like oak falls over with the first slice, and others just seem to take a little bit longer. Right. Yeah, that's going to roll away. Excellent. Some of this off. No branches. You don't really have to line it up as much as I can tell, just sort of run your chainsaw along. And that seems to get rid of most of it. There we 
go, so how big a bits do we want? Very long. How long how big's the trailer? So if we cut one there if we can. This one in half, I think. Alright, let's go and get the old trailer. I've had a little practice, and it's got a pretty good reach on it, so. I think you might be right. So if you push X, that lowers the old uh, feet down. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can make a hash of this. And then we can even rotate that round a bit. This isn't going to be fiddly, is it? Let's extend it out a bit. Take that. Okay, let's uh, use this angle. If I can't get it in the trailer. Okay, that's near enough. Let's try and get this big bit. A lot of it's trying to get me uh, controls memorised. Okay, can I just grab onto that? I think I'm just a fraction too far away. Okay, we'll move that. Get that one in a second. I oh, should be able to get this one nicely. Okay, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. And then the other one's falling out now. sliding. Okay, that must be got now. There seems to be a lot of weight on there. <laughs> okay. 
Right, let's let's see if we can pull this out of here. Get it somewhere level. Maybe it's a bit big. Maybe I'll cut it up. Right, let's. Uh, to level ourselves out. Pull this in. Get the weight nice and close. Okay, like that. let's just get ourselves up on that level. Should be able to just drop this in nicely now. Surprising how heavy these logs are. Okay, so that should be nicely lined up now. So that's probably about as bigger log we should want. Okay, so we've got one. <laughs> um, I suppose probably what the idea is is uh, cut down some trees, level area, have a nice level area. I wonder actually. Let's let me just try something. Let me just try something. I wonder. Let's just fold that up. So this will be so much easier once we get the self-propelled uh, cutter. Right. If I over as long as I can grab it quickly. Okay. This might be a bit of a longer episode than I originally intended. hooked on. Can I pull that out? I can pull that up here. It's not going to go. It's quite a lot of weight, isn't there? Here we go. I think we get it now. We're going. It's just not quite a big hill. Okay, let's just lift this up. Plan A. Okay, 
as much as this stuff as you can. some reason. Let's see if it's any easier to to manoeuvre now. Let's just see if I can quickly pull this in. Probably not really as intended, but it'll do. Okay, so now we've got that down there. Cut these up to nice little bits. One. Just do it from this side. I think you have to have the chainsaw at the right angle. And then we just find one here somewhere. moving it's glitching out a bit. There we go. Okay. So we got the one one, two, three, four bits there. I oh, know I've got the feet down, but I just want to move it back a little bit. Just to see how much of this I can get. It should be a bit more manageable now. It is pretty cool, I must admit. I, I am, well, once you get the hang of this, I'd imagine it's probably reasonably easy. Found a bit. Look at that. Can I 
bitch, this one. episode we will go and sell these see how much money we make and I'm just going to leave that on there I think just to stop them falling off yeah so we go and sell these and see how much money we make so that's four logs from what, what one and a half but not even that about, about a tree uh, so yeah excellent thanks for watching uh, I'll see you next time take care